So in this video I'm going to show you the updated way on how to use the Sony ZV-1 as a webcam as of June, July 2021 without any hacks, directly with Sony software. E aí, I'm Manuel, a Brazilian photographer and filmmaker living in Italy and in this channel I help you with the tech tools to be creative. And this is going to be a very quick tutorial and easy and it is just about the Sony ZV-1. This procedure does not apply to any other Sony camera, just to this small compact but powerful camera over here. But if I have already filmed a video about how to do it on other Sony cameras, you're going to find a card up here. If you don't see it, that's a very good excuse to subscribe to the channel as we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers right now and like this you're gonna be alerted whenever a new video comes out. Alright, let's get to it. So first of all, this is a firmware update and you're gonna find the link in the description below. Now the installation procedure is very straightforward but the update itself has some tricks to it. The first one is to charge your Sony camera to the max just to be sure that it won't power off in the middle because it finished the battery. This can totally break the camera, so it's better not to mess around with this. The second recommendation is to take out any SD cards you have inside the camera, let it without anything. Now, before connecting the camera to the computer, there are two things you have to do. First of them is launching the updater itself, it has to be launched before you even connect the camera. And second of all, is to be sure that you have the camera, the USB mode, set to mass storage. You're gonna find it in the setup menu, page 3. Now you can connect the camera with the USB cable to the computer and the updater is gonna tell you in which version it is on. If it's something before the version 2.01, then you have to do the upgrade and you can just press continue and just follow the installation until it is complete. The camera is gonna give you some instructions on the screen just about paying attention to the installer itself. It's gonna reboot and it's gonna come back like nothing happened and you can check inside the menu of the camera which version it is running right now. And if it says the version 2.01, it is complete and the procedure is finished here. Now to test it, you have to do two different things. The first one is setting back the USB settings to auto instead of mass storage. And now in the page 4 of the movie mode, you're gonna find an option called USB streaming, which is exactly what we're looking for. So if you're trying to connect the camera to the computer and trying to use it in that mode, it's just not gonna work. You have to go first to the menu, inside this USB streaming, activate it and then the camera is going to be really ready to be used as a webcam properly. So let's open up Zoom as an example and starting a new meeting just to make a test, you're going to see now that in the video list you can see the ZV-1 directly. So if you have like me the Sony Imaging Edge webcam software also installed, do not click on that one. You have to click directly on what it says ZV-1, which is gonna grab all the video source from the camera itself. And there's one more very interesting feature, that is it's also gonna pass audio. If you're using an external microphone, it's gonna be even better. So you can do like me, I'm always using the ZV-1 with an external microphone on top connected to it. And then I had a huge upgrade, not only in the video part, but also in the audio of my conferencing. Check out the massive difference it makes when I'm using the notebook with its really, really poorly placed webcam and very bad microphone. And in comparison with the ZV-1 connected to the desktop using a proper external microphone. And this is how it looks and sounds like directly on a notebook. This is how it looks and sounds using just a smartphone. And this is how the video conferencing looks and sounds like using the Sony ZV-1 with the external microphone on top. It's another story entirely. All right guys, this was just a quick and easy tutorial to replace the old one that I did on the channel, which is now an obsolete procedure. If you have any doubts, pop them in the comment section below. I try to answer all of your guys' comments. And if you want, follow me on Instagram to see some pictures and also some behind the scenes of the production of all these videos here in the channel. So I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.